Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Sunday night, April 21st. Uh, this is going to be the weekly video discussion again, talking about weather for the week ahead. Um, we're in a lull here where there's not too much exciting weather to talk about. Um, this week will be very seasonable, so nothing too warm, nothing bitterly cold or anything like that for this time of year. Um, I know we had a few uh, episodes of warm temperatures a few weeks back. I don't think that's going to return until May, though. Uh, there's still a little bit of a polar vortex up here that's that's been spitting uh, cold air down to the central part of the United States. It, it putters along the east a little bit, uh, which is why you've heard stories of a lot of snow in this part of the country. Believe it or not, um, mountains in Colorado got over 50 inches of snow last week uh, from a series of storms. So it's a little bit unseasonable for the center part of the country. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time for this warm air to build and push the cold air away. But eventually it's going to come, and it uh, looks like May is when you really start to notice the real spring temperatures. Uh, for now, you're going to have to get used to a lot of temperatures in the 50s and mid-60s. And we'll have a few bonus days in there where we hit the 70s again, but no 80s or anything like that for the foreseeable future. So with that being said, let's go through the week real quick. Not much going on this week, pretty much partly sunny to mostly sunny all week. Uh, I'll take you through progression Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. See, here's a little cold front coming through, a little storm system up in the northern Northern Plains, this might sweep some precipitation through our area on Thursday. Light showers, nothing crazy. Um, you know, maybe a thunderstorm here or there. Uh, nothing to get excited about. Uh, the weekend looks very strong coming up. Um, looks like we're going to have temperatures in the mid to high 60s. Uh, mostly sunny conditions, nothing to worry about. And then we go into next week. So real quick, let's show what temperatures are going to look like. So this is, tom this is tomorrow. Um, uh, tomorrow 2 o'clock, temperatures 55 to 60 for most of our forecast area. Uh, this is Tuesday at 2 o'clock, you'll see temperatures 50 to 60, uh, I'd say mostly 50s. Uh, this will be a very ch more of a chilly day uh, for our region on Tuesday. Uh, here's Wednesday, I think Wednesday would be the nicest day of the week. Uh, so um, have any activities planned, Wednesday would be the day, anything from 65 to 70. Uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions on Wednesday. And it's going to cool down a little bit as that front comes through. So here we go again on Thursday, 60, so 55 to 60, if you can see our forecast area here. Uh, we then go into the weekend towards Friday, 2 o'clock, uh, 60 to 65, so it starts to warm up. And then we go into Saturday where I think we'll have 60 to 70. I think these 70s will be a little more pronounced on Saturday, so we'll see a really good weekend coming up. Um, that's really it, guys. Again, it's, you know, it's not too exciting uh, from a weather standpoint this time of year yet. Um, I'm thinking in May, you know, it'll probably be more thunderstorm activity. Uh, so there'll be a lot more to talk about in this blog. We'll go into more detail. But for now, I'm just going to keep you up the weekly videos until there's some excitement for the foreseeable future. So, like I said, uh, seasonable conditions through the rest of April. Maybe a little unseasonable chilly at times. Uh, and we're looking at May to see a little bit more of a warm-up. And by warm-up, I mean 70s to, uh, to 80s. You know, let's get, let's get summer rolling here. So uh, enjoy the week. Thanks for checking in. And um, uh, I'll, I'll have something soon. Take care.